ड Killer will definitely try to revive as soon as he can, but Fardin and the remaining players they need to support the squad so that if Darius comes for the push, they are going to be prepared on this old location. Of course, okay. A to C, Tara Ache, I want to say again to A to C legends right now. They are waiting over there. No one, LG and the remaining players right now. They are in front of Killer Whitey, but Killer Whitey he is not interested and he doesn't know about the enemy's location, enemy's hideout. So that's why they are not going to take too much fight. Of course, Raymond seventy seven K. They are also getting into some troubles and PBE. They are going to lose some of their players. Let's see what will happen over here. If I say Toxic, Kamil, they are coming on this position as well. Everyone is going for the Milta split. So let's see who will win on this position. ABC Savage Opie was taken down. A to C, that I can take in the Akramani Shikhar Hodebaran. Right now, DRS Killer YT. Still, they are trying to get some elimination points against A to C. But Flanky, he's the only one going directly against the enemy player. That was a very bad move. And that's why... He was punished. Okay, the remaining players they are also going on this position. Killer Whitey he needs to hold his position so that no player from A to C can come up and take a knock against this squad. So let's see. If I say, I'm right. I'm going to not end the remaining players. That's okay. Actually, I'm not. He's not coming out of this building, but he's going for it. Still trying to cook a grenade, but that was a very bad move again. Marcelo was able to take another knock. XMPL he is not really interested in this squad anymore, but I guess he should find out Fardin. Marcelo was also taken down, and Marcelo's skill was taken from Spooky. Okay, Spooky finally confirmed another elimination uh, point, and DRS lost their first player on this fight. Right now, Killer Whitey he's moving front, and already, as you guys can see, Killer Whitey taking some damages from ZCTT Xerox as well. But A to C Legends they have been eliminated finally, even though they had four eliminations. But the problem is, right now they don't have the best position, best uh, possible position in this uh, location. Right now. Killer White is also taking down XMPL and the remaining ones right now. They have to come up again and try to revive the squad. But I feel like it will be a little bit tough. Let's see. Okay, Killer White is still, 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 still. There is a revive process going on. So I hope he will be able to revive the enemy players and the uh, and no one from the OG team will be able to get any elimination pro points from this position, this location. Right now, let's just go back to TD Xerox. Fardin, Fardin, Killer, G2, Sexa. Right now, they're just waiting over here and. They're going for a direct push against DRS. They are not giving any respect to the enemy teams right now. Okay, DRS, they're fighting back. And already, their IGL, Gayante, taking the first knockout. Right now, he wants to get another one. G2, G2 and the remaining one. All the players are getting hammered. And already, like most of the eliminations are taken by DRS, XMPL and the remaining ones. Killer White, he also got two eliminations. Even though Marcelo got eliminated at the beginning of the match. But that won't matter, I guess. But first game. Toxic and the remaining players right now they are willing to take this fight. Okay, one v one. DRS Killer YT no chance at all. DRS Killer YT needs to fall back and then he'll be able to revive his teammate once again. Let's see, viewers. This position is not really sustainable, and for DRS it is a very bad position. So if they can go back into their old hideout, old location, that would be a little bit better from my end, I think. So let's see if that is going to be happening or not. Opashe Akun Abaro, XMPL. XMPL is taking some damages and finally he was also taken down by Sexa. Sexa is already confirming the elimination point. Killer White, he was just waiting over there. And lastly, one single player, G2, is surviving from the TT Xerox lineup. Let's see if TT Xerox can take the win from this location if uh, if they can win this fight right now let's just talk about G2. G2 is just reviving his teammate. Killer is also falling back. GSM virus. From OG Optimal Genesis, they are here right now. G2, he can get into some trouble with the grenade, and I guess both the players were eliminated. ZCT Xerox, J, they had just two elimination on this match, and they have been eliminated already. Maybe he has spotted Michi, but still Michi is not willing to move up against the uh, position. Okay, already Monboy Lest getting ready with the grenade. Maybe, maybe Killer Whitey will be taken down with that grenade, but no, he was not willing to give up his position. He was not moving a muscle. That's how. He is still off the radar against the enemy players. Killer Whitey with the first knockout. That was a good one. And the finish came up quite early in this match. But after that, Killer Whitey 
maybe he was also taken down. Yes, he was taken down. Back to back fights are being happening against PBE Playbook Esports. Michi, he's trying with that shotgun, but he was not good enough. Right now, Michi and the remaining player, Raymond, they're the two players right now surviving on the fight. Problem is, DR is they're uh, really reviving the enemy player already. Uh, sorry, they're reviving their teammate, Killer Whitey. Killer Whitey was revived. On the other hand, XMPL and the remaining ones, they are willing to find out who came up on their drop location, who is willing to take the fight against these teams. TSB, right now, they are being attacked by JM Claw and the remaining players from Leo Esports. Out of nowhere, Leo Esports came up and they have taken some elimination points. That is really good. And TSB, they are losing their players one by one. XMPL, he's just waiting over there. Last player, he was also eliminated. Killer YG to the rescue. He did two knockouts, two finishes for this guy. And they have already completed the eliminations against Playbook Esports. Both the players have... They are just looking over. They are just keeping their eye on the kill tally and... Soon, soon they will they will try to get the third party. And uh, if you look at FS Exo Esports, they are having the risk control. They are having a very comfortable position. Any time they can push towards the compound, Leo Esports somehow they tried. They were trying to uh, lead the damage control stuff. But again, hide dummy, hide dummy. He has consumed a long lot of damage. Ajay was taken down, and DR is gaming. They need to do the damage control right now. Because if it's Exo or Osha, anyone can do the third party over them. Already DRS is trying to secure their knocked out player and already the revive process has been completed. Right now they need to go for the push. Osja is definitely coming on this exact position. And right now they have all the enemy players. They're looking at all these smokes. So that means some enemy teams is really in front of them. Already they are trying to deal some damages. Or maybe Gayante was spotted. Even XMPL, he is trying to go for the push. Killer YT and Gayante, they need to move inside into a better location. Killer YT, he's just moving in. Direct attack, direct confrontal assault is happening from the team DRS. Right now, they're just going up against Ozja Nang X, taking some damages. Right now, they're just trying to stay behind this ridge for some ridge cover, ridge support. But it will not be good enough. N uh, Nang X was already taken down and maybe he'll be eliminated. Yui is the final player, but DRS, they're not willing to uh, give up any elimination or anything whatsoever. Already they have confirmed these elimination points and Ozja has been eliminated. Even though they had 13 kills, that was not really a matter of fact. Already DRS has confirmed 7 kills and they have some more eliminations to be taken. Right now, FSXO teaser, right now, they're actually taking a fight against the evil army. Even though Acid is knocked out, Amir Bhav and Steezer, they're still surviving on this fight. Maybe they'll be able to revive their knocked out teammate. But Demi, if he can clutch it out, if he can use a grenade against the remaining two players from FSXO, that will deal a lot of damage. Right now, Teaser, he's just moving in and, and he took some damages. I guess still he has some time to heal up and he has some time to fight against Demi. But once again, Demi did the unthinkable. Teaser was taken down finally with another grenade. Let's see what will happen over here. FSXO, Amir Bhav, Teaser. And Acid, they were playing on this match right now they, after losing their first member, Kin. The remaining three is still trying to survive at the end of the match. But right now, it's only Amir Bhav we are talking about. Demi, but finally, and Demi finally clutched it out. One versus three, I suppose. He did amazing, amazing. Right now, he has secured the second position overall. But if he can clutch against DRS, just like he clutched against Epicentro, that will be marvelous. He did the first Ooh. knock. And yes, that was great. Demi, can you go for the next one? No, he cannot. He needed to heal cool. himself up. Evil Army tried their level best, but still, 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 they're on the second position. DRS, congratulations for this huge chicken dinner with a lot of elimination points.